Hello, good evening. Tonight, the Prime Minister forced Greater Manchester into Tier 3 of coronavirus restrictions. In dramatic scenes, Boris Johnson overrode the Mayor of Greater Manchester, Andy Burnham, having failed to reach a financial settlement. It all came down to £5 million. A mere drop in the ocean for a government having to spend its way out of a pandemic, but a line Mr Johnson refused to cross, he says, out of fairness to what he offered Liverpool City Region and Lancashire leaders. Mr Burnham accused the Prime Minister of grinding people down, trying to accept the least that they can get away with. Accusations of playing political games have flown on both sides. Tonight, we analyse the damage that may have been done by this extraordinary negotiation and where this standoff leaves the country. Nick Watts, been in Manchester. Just to be clear, because of course you're speaking to Andy Burnham and your fellow leaders regularly, are you saying you're not accepting that 60 million at the moment or are you saying you're accepting it because tier three is coming in on Friday? Well, it's regrettable. Bring you into this, good evening. Um, five million pounds is actually a tiny sum when it comes to government expenditure at the moment. Why couldn't the government, as we just heard, with a figure that had come down to... Who's playing politics now, with respect, Mr Morris? We're not talking well, not... about previous issues. We're talking about your commitment to local leadership. Let me just ask you another question. Boris Johnson avoided answering a question today from a Manchester-based journalist from the Manchester Evening News. She asked, have you been to the region lately, Boris Johnson? He didn't answer that. Has he been to the Greater Manchester region lately? And do you think if he hasn't, it's time for him to actually travel to the northwest of England and see what's going on? Well, first of all... Thank you. We put what Peter Clark said about prisoners being locked up during the day under COVID restrictions to the prison service. A spokesman said, the measures we put in place limited the spread of the virus and saved lives. In line with the latest advice from Public Health England, we are gradually easing restrictions, including increasing time out of cells. We also put it to the Prison Officers Association, who told us the practice aims to help reduce the spread of the virus, has reduced violence and self-harm and has led to a more stable environment. Now, two weeks today is officially Election Day in the United States and more than 30 million voters have already made their choice in early postal voting. While the president is hopping around the battleground states in a blur of rallies and interviews, his challenger, Joe Biden, has no events or interviews planned for this week ahead of the final debate in Nashville on Thursday night. Part of his reluctance to appear in public is, of course, the pandemic that is still raging across America. But it also means he's avoiding tough questions that risk upsetting the competing wings of his party, who are currently united on one policy, getting rid of Donald Trump. Our US correspondent David Grossman reports from Washington on what we know and don't know about Joe Biden's plans for government. Appear. Let's take a look at some of those front pages now. On the front page of the Daily Telegraph, northern cities told they could be next. Uh, the Prime Minister hinting at full-scale regional lockdowns after moving Manchester into Tier 3, which we've been talking about. Uh, front page of The Guardian here, a picture of a very distressed mayor of Greater Manchester, Andy Burnham. Chaos and fury as Johnson forces those curbs on Manchester without that financial settlement agreed, certainly from Andy Burnham's side. And northern uproar on the front of The Yorkshire Post as strictest virus restrictions are imposed. And still, Yorkshire awaits a decision as Neighbour is put into Tier 3. That's the particular angle there. And, of course, the highest daily figure of deaths of people with covid since June, also being a front page part of that there. That's all from us tonight. Kirsty is here tomorrow. Goodbye.